What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel, a channel where today I'm going to tell you that no matter how many budget builds you have in your safe, no matter how many unzeroed rifles you have, no matter how bad your PT score is, it doesn't matter. Guys, thanks for being here. Like, comment, leave a fire emoji down below because the world is burning and your situation is worsening, but I'm going to hopefully try to shape the world as we know it and as I know it from my tactical and professional experience in the army for the past 12 years. Guys, Patreon, $5 a month, gets you access to our Discord server and may or may not be the only reason I still remain a channel, okay? Give me $5 a month and guess what? I'll see you over on the Discord server. If you wanna see other links and you wanna help buy another build to support the channel, check out the link down below for Palmetto State Armory. Wow, how did I link the sponsor into that? Way to go, Trench. Okay, LISCO. What does LISCO stand for? LISCO stands for Large Scale Combat Operations. Frowny face. Now, guys, my very quick resume, if this is the first video you're seeing on the channel, I have been an infantryman, airborne and mechanized, for the past 12 years, and a drill sergeant. What does that mean? It means I've jumped out of planes for six years and I've rode in a Bradley for three and I've been a drill sergeant for about two or so, okay? What does that mean to you? That means I've done a lot of training and I've done a lot of simulations and I've done a lot of time digging holes, refilling holes, walking a lot of miles, shooting a couple bullets here and there and learning some things along the way. What I've learned and what I'm gonna try to communicate the unclassified version to you, the guy on the couch, drinking his beer, whatever you got going on, okay? This is going to be the message to you. You're going to freaking die. Okay. So if that scares you, good. Go out, touch grass, and find about 20 buddies that are smart and well-disciplined and have a high level of physical fitness. It's going to be a good starting point. Okay. So that is the purpose. I'm going to try to keep you alive in your Minecraft server. Drones. All right. This isn't going to shock anybody. The cost of a drone is about $120. The cost of a hand grenade is about $200 depending on what army and what, uh, what, who's the manufacturer. Let me tell you something. Your life, the training value, is going to be about $400,000 from a professional military, i.e. the United States. You're going to be worth at least almost half a million dollars for all the training that they're going to invest in you. And obviously you watching this video probably think your life is worth more than about $400, right? Well, you're wrong because large scale combat operations, LISCO, means your life equals the cost of a hand grenade and the cost of a drone and a drone operator to fly that FPV into your heart and blow you in half. Oh my God, Trench, this is just for Minecraft. So yes, uh, drones are a thing and I need you guys to wrap your heads around as you see all these videos coming out of you know where, wrap your head around the idea that life sucks when in combat, okay? And war and in LISCO, large scale combat operations, your life is gonna suck. And what you're not gonna be asking is, hey dude, what optic, what zero are you using on your rifle? Oh, dude, is that an LPVO or a Holosun or is that an EOTech? Oh, dude, that's awesome. What white light did you buy? Those are not things you're gonna be worried about. You're gonna be worried about, have I ate today? Have I changed my socks? Can my buddy stay awake long enough so I can get about an hour of sleep so I don't get my freaking face blown off on the next enemy advance? So if you're obsessing over your rifle, stop. Trench, you're attacking my way of life. Good. Guys, if you want to follow on video about rifles and why people are focusing on the wrong things when it comes to preparation in the Minuteman or Infantryman lifestyle, leave a comment down below. Trenches. I know. It's the name of the channel. God, why is he talking about trenches again? Okay, let me tell you something. Just like in World War I, where they found out very quickly is anybody that walks around uh, you know, without cover and concealment is going to die. Cover stops bullets, concealment uh, hides your visual. Uh, you're not able to be seen from the enemy. There you go. I spit that out pretty easily. So trench. Why am I talking about trenches? You need to wrap your head around the idea of carrying an entrench an entrenching tool. An entrenching tool is a shovel that folds up into a small package with a serrated edge. The serrated edge has two purposes, chopping down trees and chopping the enemy right around here, right below the helmet uh, at the neckline, hitting them using the force of gravity to cut them in half for Minecraft. Okay, so I know you've all seen the videos out of you know where, but you might want to invest in a good e-tool and a good e-tool pouch, an entrenching tool. Rifles. If you want to follow on video on why 
in the WROL, your rifle build means about 1% of the equation, leave a comment. That's a full length video that I would just love to talk to all the internet commandos about, about why their Palmetto State, Knight's Armament, whatever they're running, okay, doesn't really freaking matter. That's a whole separate conversation, okay? Sustainment. Guys, a lot of what you're going to do in LISCO, large-scale combat operations, is again, trying to stay dry, trying to stay warm, trying to hydrate enough so you don't literally die. Stuff like that, okay? Uh, things that are going to be important are camo paint, a good assault pack, or a good rucksack. Those are the things you should be investing in. A good headlamp with a, a daytime or a nighttime cover, that way it doesn't ND and get you killed. Good night vision right? Actually walking outside with your night vision, good battery supply. These are things you should be thinking about. Not, dude, what zero do you have on your freaking optic? That's something good too, but that's only a very small percentage. A lot of you guys, and I'm delving into this other topic, a lot of you guys will be better suited with a Wasser 10, 150 rounds of ammo with an extra 50 rounds in your assault pack, and then focusing on your sustainment and everything else and running that AK in a WROL. That's a whole nother video, but we'll get into it. So sustainment needs to be a major part of your life in WROL. Massing effects. Now is when we're going to actually talk about the reality of uh, LISCO, okay? The enemy <coughs> and, your, and your own side, whoever you fight for, the enemy is going to try to use massing effects to destroy you. What that means is your commanders, and I'm not talking about company level or battalion level, talking about brigade and higher, the life of the average soldier on the ground is going to mean about 0.01% of the total equation. What that means is we're getting back to the drone conversation. Your life is so insignificant. The average human, even myself, it's hard to comprehend how small of a little pebble we are in this massive cog, this massive machine. How do we deal with that? You need to understand that you will most likely die in a large scale combat operation in war or WROL without rule of law, SHGF, you will most likely die. Massing effects is a serious thing. That means the enemy will focus all their fire in one area and a lot of people will die. Okay. So you have to wrap your head around the idea that you don't matter. It's unfortunate, but if you find yourself in the unfortunate situation where you're digging the trench, you need to understand that your life no longer matters. Okay, worldview. The world will not ask, oh, did little Timmy die on the front line? The world will ask, did we hold Bakhmut? Okay, the world will ask, did we hold Paris if we find ourselves in Western Europe? The world will ask, did we hold Dallas, Texas? Okay, they're not going to ask about little Timbo, you in some trench somewhere. So you need to understand if you find yourself in your fantasy of without rule of law or large scale combat operations, you will probably die and the world will not care. Okay. Uh, and last but not least, you are but a pawn, even to your battle buddies. Okay. You're the person to your right and your left in your minute man platoon or whatever in your uh, rifle platoon, you are just a pawn to make sure the whole unit survives. That is what a lot of civilians don't understand. When you find yourself in scenarios like this, the thought of you letting your buddy down, okay, and having to wear a bracelet like this, the thought of that is greater than your own survival, okay? So I hope this video helps. Thanks for being here. If you want to see the follow-on video about why your rifle build doesn't matter, comment down below. Support the channel, and until next time, it's going to be Trench Grenade, your average bearer of bad news enjoyer. Signing out. Cheers. Mm -hmm.